Hey guys, it's Bailey, and welcome back to the channel for what is going to be the monthly favorites. If you couldn't tell by the title, it's that time, so let's get started with face products. Same foundation and concealer as I think last month, maybe even the month before that, but basically ever since I started using them, the J Manual Beauty uh, Filter Finish Collection Skin Perfection Foundation and uh, Photo Illusion Concealer. I'm medium filter one in the foundation and airbrush medium in the concealer. Let me tell you about this foundation though, guys. So obviously I've been loving it, apparently a little too much because I'm already starting to hear like, what are the words, like the death squirts, you know, that sounds, not at all how I intended, but you know what I'm saying. Like you're you're squeezing a product, and all of a sudden you hear like the the empty sound. Like the, it like kind of spurts out the end. And you're like, oh no, this is the beginning of the end. Like I'm about to run out of this product. And so as I, I've been throwing this in my bag and traveling with it, I did a lot of traveling during the month of June, and so threw this in there with me wherever I went, and ultimately it came apart, but it allowed me to better see and kind of maneuver the products in there. But sure enough, like. There is not a lot in here. So I knew it would, you'd get a little bit less than the full one ounce right off the bat. I said that in the review video, but turns out it goes a lot faster than you anticipate. And so I'm a little, a little nervous. I have another one, but it's a shade deeper. This really is the perfect match for me. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do once it runs out because I do have a lot of other foundations that I like well enough and wanna get through, but man, guys, this is like holy grail status for me. So love it, but it's kind of a, bittersweet favorite because apparently I've been loving it too much. Next, let's talk bronzer. I have two favorites and one is a liquid. This is actually the the bronzer, liquid bronzer that I got in my Play by Sephora box in June. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer. And really ever since I started using it in preparing to like unbox and review everything, I've just really been liking how natural it looks on the skin. It's really great for, you know, light makeup days when you just want a hint of glow. It'll go beautifully over your natural skin or a lighter base, although let's be honest, more often than not, I am wearing a full coverage uh, foundation. But even if that's the case, it doesn't disturb, even though it's a liquid, it doesn't disturb that foundation below. So really like this, and it's a hint cooler. You might know this already if you watch that unboxing, but it's a little bit cooler than the Benefit Do The Hula, which I really like as a liquid bronzer, but a lot of people found that one was a little too warm, a little too orange. This would be the perfect one for you if that's what you're looking for. However, the bronzer that I'm wearing today is powder, and one that I think was also in last month's favorites. It's the Pure Minerals Glow Together Gradient Matte Shimmer Bronzer. And I like this because it's an all-in-one sort of situation. I can go matte during the daytime. Well, really, I can do the big swirl just if I'm quick, you know, quick in a hurry, just want to get an all-over glow. Or I can be a little bit more particular and go in just with the matte or just with the shimmer. But frankly, it looks so stinking natural and just blends really beautifully over everything. So that is what I'm wearing as my all-over bronzer. Bron today actually since I did use kind of a little bit of a more specific brush normally I use a bigger bronzing brush I went a little bit more specific today so it's a, a little bit more chisel chiseled on the cheekbones but have been loving that let's continue on with the cheeks a lot of you have been asking me the blush that I've been wearing and really this has always been at an arm's distance like I've been trying to this being the city color timeless beauty palette uh, this has kind of always been at an arm's length away all month just because I've been wanting to test it and once something's out for me it's like it's out until I have the time to put it back and switch something out in my everyday makeup drawer. So this is what I've been using and actually loving. It's a palette of four matte blushes and three highlighters down here. I've really more so been loving the blushes. You get a nice mix of light pink, a light lilac, a deeper coral. This is the shade, do these have names? Uh, no, it doesn't look like they have individual names. So we'll just go with the shade that they are. This is kind of a, a medium coral. That's what I'm wearing as my blush today. But in the last video, I think I was wearing this light lilac shade, very beautiful. And then you have a deeper kind of terracotta orange shade, as well as these three highlighters down below. This is a little bit more expensive than the average City Color product, but as someone pointed out, when I, actually when I was live streaming, that's a major fail or dud for the month, is I wasn't able to live stream at all in June like I did in May. And so I wanna start that back up. June was just like a crazy hectic month with traveling and family stuff going on. And so I wanna get back into it, but a lot of people had pain points with live.me. And so I wanna hear from you, where do you wanna see live streams? Facebook, I will put that up here. YouTube, that might work best since we're all here anyway. Just let me know uh, in the comments below or I'll set up a poll right here. Let me know which you prefer. But 
in a live stream in May. In fact, I pointed out the fact that this was kind of a more expensive palette for City Color. They tend to be very affordable, but this guy I think is like 25 bucks. And someone that live stream pointed out that City Color is constantly running sales and promotions. And so I will link, uh, I'll link to the site below and then I'll include a coupon code in the event that they're having, they recently had 25% off. And so in that case, this would be an excellent deal. You get a nice big mirror, the four matte blushes, the three huge highlights. That's a good deal. Uh, but overall, it has been something that I've been reaching for constantly throughout the month of June. So the reason I haven't really been using the highlighters from that Timeless Beauty palette is because I've been hooked on these from a brand called Tooth & Nail Cosmetics. Recently placed an order for uh, quite a few, these are eyeshadows up here and these are highlighters down here. Placed an order after seeing a review from Holly Forrest here on YouTube. If you haven't seen her, watch her videos, definitely go check her out. I'll link her down below. But she was doing a review of these highlighters and Clearly, I fell in love, placed an order myself, and the one that I have been wearing, currently wearing right now, but also have been wearing like the past couple of videos that you guys have been asking me what is on my face, is this guy. This is Dazed. Looks like it has an 04 by it, but basically it's just Dazed. It looks like it's gonna be kind of a, I'll, I'll do a close up because it looks like it has a, a more rich peach undertone, but really it is solid gold. It's a lot similar to Prosecco Pop. I'll put a comparison swatch in here. And I only, I mostly say that because someone compared it to that when I was wearing it in my last video or my, one of my more recent videos. Cause it has that same gold, uh, gold kind of shift, gold iridescence. I would say this is a little bit stronger than Prosecco Pop, but similar effect and at a fraction of the cost. I will have a video coming up on all these, like swatching the eyeshadows and the highlighters, giving you my thoughts on them because it's a, like I said, it's an indie company, very under the radar. Not a whole lot of people are talking about it, but so far I have been really impressed. So definitely look for that in the near future, but that's what I've really been loving for the glow. Now for the eyes. This is not a surprise to anyone. I haven't talked about it a whole lot on my channel because I feel like a lot of other people are doing an amazing job reviewing it, uh, doing tutorials. Like it's just a very covered palette right now. So I haven't talked about it a whole lot, but it doesn't mean I haven't been wearing it like every day this month. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And yeah, I think it's just as good as everybody is suggesting it is. It looks a little in intimidating, although I have to say the kind of burgundies and oranges are the reason that I ordered it. But I know it's also the same reason a lot of people are steering away because they feel like these aren't wearable for them. I I have to say, I just think it's such a versatile palette. They're very pigmented and buildable shades. So you can sheer these burgundy shades out to get just a hint of, you know, wine on the lids or in the outer corner, just as an accent color, if you know, you're not ready for a full on wine colored lip. But the other shades in this palette are just staple, you know, shimmery champagne and yellow, this golden ochre burnt orange. These are just beautiful and pair perfectly with the more dramatic shades. I can't, I just, I love it. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, because like I said, I do feel like everyone's doing an amazing job talking about this and reviewing it. I don't really have any more to contribute to that conversation, but I do want to do a like three in one tutorial where I'll do kind of three distinct, you know, to try and give you an idea of how versatile this palette can be from an everyday look to a super dramatic look and then something a little bit in between. Um, yeah, so that's, that's probably what's coming from me, but I had to include it. I couldn't not include it. And then the last lip product, well, last product period for this video is a lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This guy surprised me. It's all I'm wearing on my lips right now uh, because the formula is just so opaque and creamy, but not the kind of creamy that falls into your fine lip lines or lip cracks, things like that, and looks like ugh, milky. Ugh, what is that? Um, not this guy. This is beautiful. Wears that same way, just really consistently and evenly all throughout, well, not all throughout the day, about three, three and a half hours, depending on how heavily you're like snacking and drinking, things like that. A pretty long wear, I think for lip gloss, really comfortable on the lips, but I just can't get over how pigmented it is. Like this, is it worn alone on my lips? No liner, no lipstick, no nothing, just this. And that's why I've been loving it because it's super easy. You know, the ease of putting on a lip gloss, you can kind of smudge with the lines. You don't, you don't need a mirror and precise application. It's one and done, you go. That's why I've been loving this. But I also, when I bought this, also picked up the shade, this is vintage by the way. I also got the shade Purple Rain. 
which I'll apply right now. Just as pigmented, like so, so beautiful. I don't know how I missed these glosses, but I picked them up at a Sephora. It was for like VIB Rouges and they were a preview event before they launched like new stuff, like the Vice lipsticks. Picked up a couple things, one of which was actually the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara, which I did a review of. Picked this, these, and then something from Kevin O'Quan that you will be seeing in a video coming up soon. Not in a good way, but it'll be there. Uh, but that's where I picked these up and they just blew me away. I it was love at first swatch because I put it on the back of my hand and exactly what I described to you now is what made me buy two shades because I was so impressed with the pigmentation. So I've really been liking those. But besides that, that is all for me, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to hear your favorites as usual in the comments below because chances are if it's made it in your favorites category, I should consider it for mine or at least to try. I mean, right? That's, you know, Duh. So yeah, definitely leave a comment down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.